Yes, welcome back to Garage Band Weekly. On this week's show, we're continuing on from the last two weeks. We've done a few special edition shows where we don't do the usual news and notes and tips and features and all the other bits. We're focusing on creating music. Because in 2023... I want to actually get some freaking music out there. <laughs> I said freaking. Come on, YouTube algorithm. Don't uh, don't cut me off now. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, hello to the folks who are here live. If you're watching on the replay, we love you just as much. If you enjoy the show today, thumbs up, guns up. Leave your comments down below as well. And if you're here live, you can participate because we're interactive here today. So uh, we will uh, we will be getting into the creation in probably about two or three minutes. Uh, we'll just uh, let you know that this show today is brought to you by my. Garage Band FAQ. If you go over to studio live today.com slash garage band, you'll come right to here and you'll be able to check out everything that I have on offer here. This is everything but this. This is 10 bucks. That's the course. You can go in there and check out my $10 course, five hours of curated content. But if you don't want to pay anything, that's cool too, because I've got all of these free playlists that you can check out with all the information you need to know to get started in GarageBand iOS. Or maybe you're a seasoned veteran and you just want a bit of a refresher or some inspiration. You can also join our amazing GarageBand communities over there. There's a heap of links there for that, as well as my guide here. So someone was asking me during the week about different things. They're like, what is an AUV3 plugin? Uh, well, guess what? You come in here, you go to AUV3, and then you've got a couple of videos here to find out what they are and how to use them. So it's all there at your fingertips, studiolivetoday.com slash garageband, and you can jump over there. And we thank me for uh, supporting me. <laughs> thank you to Thomas Christ, who's put that there in the link. Uh, hello to Thomas Christ. Hello to Lila Lou Reality. Yes, if you want to support the channel, you want to be one of our wonderful patrons, uh, you can join the Patreon and uh, you can donate to the channel too. I will not say no. It does help keep the lights on when we get super chat, super stickers and, and PayPal donations uh, as well. So that is all welcomed as well. Let's say good day to the folks who are here live and then we will dive in and we're going to write some lyrics. Now, just to give you a heads up, I have no idea where we're going today, and I thought that would be good, because I thought starting with a blank slate might help some folks out who might be saying, hey, I'm, I'm struggling here, like I, I don't know how to get started. You're going to see me struggle today, so at least we'll be in the same boat together, yeah? Uh, get a uh, Bob Stewart watching on my telly in a cold and windy Scotland. Hello there from Scotland. We've got Fat Panda Cat. We've got Jade Star. Hello to you. Uh, we have an Audible video. Hello. Hope you are doing well. Uh, it looks like you're good. I'm glad. <laughs> G'day to Mark Bro as well, who is here live. We've got uh, Tommy, Tommy Jack. Now, Tommy Jack said, hopefully this will spur me on. Can't seem to get anything out of my head and onto paper whatsoever. Yeah, and I've been kind of the same. I've been in procrastination mode. Maybe we write a song about how we're procrastinating writing a song. No one's ever done that before, have they? No one's ever written a creative thing about the creative process. Originality for the win. G'day, Deep Gravity as well. And hello to Mr. Fish as we'd say in New Zealand, Mr. Fish. All right, uh, we're going to crack on here. I think I've said g'day to every person who is here. Uh, Nick Hamby as well, g'day to you up there in Queensland. Hope everything's good for you, mate. Uh, we're going to dive in and get started. So I have, here's something I prepared earlier. What we did, if you missed the last couple of shows, not that one, but this one, if you missed the last couple of shows, what we did, whoop, my cable's getting in the way here. What we did is we created this. We created this song. Move my iPad a bit closer. We created this song in GarageBand iOS. The first thing we did was we jumped in here and we recorded in some guitars. So I showed how to record and double guitars. We then got some some drums. There's a bit of a backing track there. We put some bass on this one. And uh, we recorded in some ideas for a vocal melody line without any actual vocals. So I use the do-do-do and the da-da-da method, which is just means that I don't actually know what I'm singing. I just use do's and da's. And then we replace them with words, which is what we're going to do here today. So let's so without further ado, we'll uh, jump in and take a listen to this. So this is the song as it is at, uh, at the moment. It's a bit of a punk song. Mm -hmm. 
First thing I'm noticing there is that uh, we've, we've lost one of our guitars. This happens quite often with Tonebridge. We did have a thing before where it said, audio, your your uh, iOS application has quit. And I'm reckoning it's, uh, it's Tonebridge, which we're supposed to have on this, which now seems to not even be there at all, which is weird. It, it's completely gone away. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh no, that's the that's the vintage grit. It's uh, it's this one here. There it is. Yeah, the Tonebridge app is on there, but it's definitely not working. So, this is a good tip to start off with. You close out and you reopen. Normally, just a simple close and reopen of the project will fix any of those audio unit application errors that you may get. Let's just check if this lead guitar is back because it shouldn't sound like that. It should have a tone more like this. Nope. <laughs> so what we might need to do is actually close GarageBand down. Unfortunately, despite all of the updates and all the efforts of everything in recent times, this is an ongoing thing that still happens. So we've closed everything now, and we'll go back into GarageBand, and we'll see if this, if, if this doesn't work. The third way is to actually turn it off and on, literally to close, turn off the iPad and then turn it back on. So don't freak out when you get these problems. They happen to everyone. They're happening to me. There you go. You can see now the tone bridge icon is back there. And when we go into it, there's this uh, DRI tone that, uh, that Jade Starr recommended on the last show. So now when we hit the play button... <laughs> that's a little better. So we've got that one. We've got our vintage grip. We've got our bass here. And we created a bit of a wall of guitar sounds here with our power chords uh, on this one. As well as this one on the other side. So there's definitely some enhancements to do with the guitars, but I like the idea. We've got the chord progression down and uh, we're ready to rock and roll with this one. The lead vocals that we have here, these this is my doo-doo-doos and da-da-das. So just so that you can hear what we're doing here, we'll just give you the 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 power chords, the the backing tracks there, as well as the, the vocals. And this is what we'll be working with here today. <laughs> So that's our verse structure, pretty basic. No, 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 up to the minor third. No, 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 no. It's it's like a four four note melody, and then jumping up here into the chorus, the melody is going to go. Again, using those kind of minor thirds da, 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 to make it sound a little. So it's got the it's got using power chords, so it's kind of in a major key, but then it kind of morphs. It has that that second chord is turned into a minor by the melody that we're going to be using here. Um, <clears throat> we then went in and did some bridges and some lead solos and some things, which we'll, we'll show you and we'll play around with a little bit later as we go through there. Uh, so that's where we're at at the moment. We have the full version and uh, we'll just take you right here to the end. So at the very end of it, it just goes out like this. <laughs> the nice there we go. at the end, and me talking to myself. So that's that's what we've got, and we now need to build out on this and uh, actually write some lyrics. So that's what we're going to do. Can you tell I'm procrastinating? Yeah, hundred uh, percent. We'll say a quick good day to the folks like Rita, who's here, like Fat Panda Cat, who is here, Crow on a Wire, who Fat Panda Cat says is the best handle I've seen here. It's definitely right up there, isn't it? And uh, also to Jean Paul which I made you sound a bit French there, but you are from the UK because you are John Paul Music UK. I hope you are doing well. John Paul Music UK, um, I've, I've, re I've kicked off my podcast again and uh, it's a weird way to ask you, but I uh, should definitely get you back on the podcast, my friend, uh, to talk about looping and live performing because um, I know a lot of people ask me about that and you know what I do? I say, go ask JP because I don't know nothing and he's the expert. So that could be a that could be a fun episode. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Shoot me an email, mate. Uh, let's uh, let's open up my document here, my OneNote document. So when you're writing a song, use what you like. In fact, let's let's do a quick straw poll here. We've got a few folks here live. Do you write songs on a word processor or a notes app or your phone? Do you normally go digital 
or do you go analog? Are you still a notebook kind of person? I am usually digital these days more because I do a lot of this sort of stuff where I'm doing a tutorial and I need to kind of have it all digitally anyway. If I'm writing on a notebook, I probably could do that and then just hold it up every now and again and go, so this is the words I wrote here. Plus, I find it easier to just get things down as well. So uh, so let us know. Let us know in the chat. It'll be interesting to see how many folks uh, go old school notebook and how many folks uh, actually just use digital uh, as well. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I, I reckon with this crowd, I wouldn't be surprised if we got a few folks that still like the old uh, pen and paper, just quietly. So we'll uh, we'll see. While while uh, while we get those answers in, and we'll talk about that in a sec. Let's jump on over to here. This is what we've got so far. So these are the tracks that we're using here. This is a few notes. So we need another guitar. So this is when we get to the actual recording phase. We'll be playing around with that. Backing vocals in the chorus and maybe the second verse, maybe a synth or a pad. And uh, we need to tweak the drummer to make him sound better. We've written out our song structure here. So we know that we've got the eight bar intro. We've got the verse, chorus, verse, chorus, solo, final chorus. And now, guess what? Yeah, we need some lyrics. So we're just going to uh, shimmy that one across here so that we can open a new little section here and we can go lyrics. So <laughs> this, has, has anyone had this where you just sit here and you're like, right, writing some lyrics. Uh, here we go. L let's do it. So uh, I'm going to try a few different techniques here today. We're going to go with a speed thinking exercise. I'm going to show you how I use that sometimes. Uh, and then we're going to develop that and see if we can use it. I might cheat a little bit. I've always wanted to try chat GPT. So we might see if we write a line and then we put it into chat GPT or an AI text generator, we'll see if it can write us a rhyming line. Yeah. So we might, we might cheat. And of course, I'll be leaning heavily on you folks to tell us what this song needs to be about. So originally, just to give you an idea, the original lyrics of this song when we were doing the first demo that I just made up on the spot was about me learning to surf. I thought it was kind of super lame, but I'll, t I'll give you a listen to it anyway, just so you have an idea here. I don't really want to go this direction, but if you think I totally should, then uh, let me know. All my life I've dreamed of how to surf, but I've never had the time to learn. Being here in the beach, I should probably know. Hello, happy Ron. I'm afraid of sharks and stuff, and I don't want to bite it in the sand. I'm just going to stay on the shore and drink some beer. Yeah, no, it's a bit, it's a bit rough. Because I don't know what's in the water. And I'll never have all the fat. So... What I do like about that is I like that line because I don't know what's in the water because I think that could be a cool analogy. So I think this song is going to be about, uh, I kind of want it to be about just diving in. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll just sort of start noting that. So just diving into things when you don't know what's in the water, you don't have all the facts. Because let's be honest, we never know exactly what's in the water. We never have all the facts. And it was funny, back in my corporate days, I would always get these questions in job interviews where they're like, tell us about a time where you've had to make a decision with incomplete information. And I'm like, dude, that's life. Life is all incomplete information. When, when have you ever had complete information? You don't, because it's human. Uh, nothing is complete. Nothing is predictable all the time. So, yeah, I, I'm thinking that's what we're going to go with. So what, what we'll do is we'll come back over here to our notebook, to our notepad, and we'll uh, we'll start noting some ideas how, down. So, um, so we'll go, I don't, what was that actual line? I don't know what's in the water. Because I kind of like that line. I think I want to build this track around that line. Because I don't know what's in the water. Yeah. Because uh, I don't know what's in the water. Da, 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 da. And so, so that one with the chorus, this isn't going to have to rhyme anyway. So I don't want it to be I don't have all the facts, but that's where we can go chorus. And then, uh, so, because I don't know what's in the water. Da, 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 da. And so then it can be like, and I don't think I ever will, or something like that. So, and then there's a double chorus that comes up later that we can play around. So 
we'll, we'll use that as a bit of a basis here. Let's, uh, let's sort of pause on that and come back and find out, do people use notebooks? Do people use real paper or do you folks use uh, the screen? Do you use your devices? So uh, hello, Semtex Cow, by the way. Thanks for dropping on by. So let, let's do a quick poll here. So we've got pen and paper. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to note that I should have done a proper poll, but I'm just going to go, I'm going to note it here, paper and, uh, uh, and then digital. And we'll tally these up as we go along here. So we've got one for paper. We've got Crow on a wire who uses the notes. So that's, another, that's one for digital. Uh, we've got uh, notebook for Bob Stewart. So let's add that. Let's go to two for paper. Uh, <laughs> this is the slowest way to do this. Tommy Jack uses the pen and paper. There you go. And I've obviously sometimes used twice. Uh, used text edit since I switched to Mac. So we've got digital, Thomas Christ. We've got Nick Hornby, uh, pen, but erasable, erasable pen. There you go. That's the way to go, I reckon. If you're going to use pen and paper, go the old uh, erasable pen. They're, they used to be crap, but they're actually really good these days. Uh, pen and paper, got many notebooks lying around. You know what? If you use a notebook, can I just give you a quick tip? Uh, use my Power Mac from 1992. Give you a quick tip. Uh, take a photo of the paper. Like, that's the only thing, I used to use Notepad on Windows, the only thing that um, is going to sort of trip you up is if you lose it, obviously. Like, you don't want to lose it. So once you've written out those amazing lyrics on Notepad, uh, grab, your, grab your phone and take a photo. What are words, really? What are words? Notebook, then text editor. So you're on the fence, I'm going to go there. Pencil or notebook, there you go. Evernote changed my life. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I use OneNote, but I did use Evernote. I just happened to go OneNote uh, now. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, I think we're at almost exactly 50-50. Um, yeah, so of, of all the people we've got, uh, do you reckon I'm organised? Uh, I try, but I don't think I'm that organised. Um, and hello, Happy Ron. Uh, yeah, so it's about 50-50. It's about we've got five on paper and four on digital based on the ones that I've uh, seen there in, in, the, uh, in the chat. So let us know if you've got any other things going on. G'day, Tom. Tom? Dom Terragrosa, El Hickey Drums, uh, we've got Gary Hubs, we've got Princess LDJ. Thank you, everybody, for dropping on by. And third person pod, uh, grid notebook for lyrics. Grid, that's interesting, using a grid as in like graph paper. That would be interesting because I guess you could, you could yeah, set things out a little bit more. That, that's good. I used to use a grid um, graph paper for chord charts because I'd make sure like those big chunkus ones that have like the double grids. I don't know. I found that easier to organise. Let's jump back over to uh, to my notebook. So here is my digital notebook. I'm going to show you something here that it's not going to be revolutionary. I learnt this in the corporate world, and it was for for brainstorming ideas. So what I'm going to what I'm going to do here is. What's in the water is my uh, key phrase. You can play along with me at home if you like. You can, you can do this as well. But I'm going to use a speed thinking exercise here. So what I want to do is, and this is, this is tapping into your unfiltered brain. This is something that AI can't do because it won't make the connections that your human brain will make. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a one-minute timer here. I'm going to grab my phone and we're going to put, if I can actually get to my timer. <laughs> actually, you know what? Um, hey, Siri. I've just ruined everything. Set a timer. Set a timer for one minute. Oh, it's not even doing it. See, my AI is failing me today. <laughs> and I've made all of you guys have a timer for one minute. We'll just come in here. I'll change it from my 25-minute timer, which is my nap timer. So we've got a one-minute timer on here. What we're going to be doing is I'm going to, in one minute, I'm going to type down as many things related to the phrase, what's in the water that I can. So I'll talk about it out loud for, for folks listening in and not watching so that you can hear the things and you can hear my brain and my weird, wacky thought process. If you want to do the same, what I'll do is I'll put all my stuff in here. And then if you're here in the chat, you can put your own things in as well. So just throw them here in the chat. Any, any word, don't start yet, but any words in this one minute that's going to be on the clock here on my phone, put in any words. So what's in the water? So the concept of this is the unknown of what's in the water. And we're going to start the timer now. All right, so walk, uh, I'm thinking sharks, I'm thinking fish, I'm thinking unknown, uh, lurking, depths, <laughs> uh, I'm thinking boat, boating, um, falling in the water, I'm thinking drowning as a concept there, so you're drowning in things, unpredictable, unpredictable things, I can't type, unpredictable, um, learning for some reason, so over overcoming the, the uh, doubt, did I put doubt, I don't know, uh, self-doubt, uh, we've got water, water splash, uh, 
get wet. Uh, we've got soaking. We've got um, trapped underwater. We've got uh, diving in. We've got head first. Uh, we've got 15 seconds. We've got, uh, what else is we've lost in the water? Um, the, 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 I've already said doubt. Uh, falling. Uh, we've got crashing in the water. Uh, what else do you do in the water? You cruise around the water. You uh, float on the water. And uh, time is up. All right. Now we review. So again, we went off in some weird directions there because your subconscious, the brain that you have when you stop and you try and analyze, that's your filtered brain. This is your unfiltered brain. This is where the weird ideas are going to come out of here. And some of these things like uh, like we got into doubt and self-doubt. We got into being trapped or being soaked, diving in, diving in head first. So there's some cool ideas in here that could work. So, you know, what's in the water? I don't know, sometimes, so it could be like the first verse is all about the, the anxiety you have of not knowing. There could be sharks, there could be fish, what's lurking in the depths. I'm going to fall in, I'm going to drown. And then the second one can be like, uh, yeah, sometimes you just got to dive in head first. Sometimes you just got to uh, not worry about what's below the surface. Sometimes you just got to do it. So that's that's speed thinking, and we'll go through some of these. Let's um, let's get your ideas because I see some funny ones here in the chat. So this is uh, this is Pete's ideas. So this is Pete, and uh, we'll uh, we'll then go the community, and we'll see <laughs> we'll see what uh, you folks have come up with here. So I'm going to scroll back up. I'm going to scroll back up, and we're going to find where I started doing that, and uh, we'll see what we have. Uh, Bob Stewart crabs. <laughs> I like it. I don't want to get crabs. I'm not going to jump in the water. Tomatoes in the water. I mean, uh, sure. I'll, I'll put it in because there's no bad urchin. Oh, sea urchins are creepy and gross. Uh, that's from Thomas Christ. Flow. Yeah, I'm going to flow. Yeah, get, get, to, get in that. Uh, we've got weightless floating. Wow, we've got some amazing stuff here. Weightless floating um, and reflection from uh, reflection <gasps> reflection would be a cool concept like you could, if you could work the concept because what's in the water it could be like what's in the water but really if you're scared of what's in the water i'm gonna write this as a concept so if you're scared of what's in the water maybe you're just scared of your own reflection scared of what's in the water or maybe you're just scared of your own reflection. So the water is just reflecting your own fear back at you. <gasps> I love it, Dom. No wonder you're a uh, amazing songwriter. Lies and surprised and oh, well, this is this is cool stuff. We've got lies, surprise, satisfied cries, satisfied cries, satisfied. I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be really bad. I'm going to be like, what was I putting here? Tears, not years. Tears. Yeah, tears are like water. The water works. What the heck is a sea spider, Thomas? I'm disturbed by that. Sea spider? <laughs> memories of someone getting bitten. Yeah, yeah. So you've got memories of someone getting bitten. Yeah, because you don't want to go in the water because, you know, you saw the news and someone had a shark attack. So, yeah, we could put some sort of concept in there. So, like, saw the news that someone was eaten by a shark. Or maybe like Steve Irwin. There could be a Steve Irwin reference in there. Irwin? Irwin. Irwin. Like a stingray. Yeah, stingrays are a cool word. Jelly. Jellyfish. You came along. And something, something else. Fellyfish. That's also a type of fish. Jellyfish. Good good one there from uh, from Bob Stewart. Uh, ooh, yeah, I don't like a jellyfish. Seaweed. Yeah, I don't want to... Seaweed is gross. We were at uh, Victor Harbour recently, which is here near South Australia. Um, and uh, yeah, there was seaweed everywhere. It was kind of gross. Uh, boat. Floating. Raft. Swim. Yeah, we got we got a heap of stuff here. <laughs> Stealthy. <laughs> it's going. I don't know how we're working that the song, but it's going in. That's gold. <clears throat> things things that sting, indeed. Indeed. Uh, so, have we got a song here yet? No, but we've got concepts, don't we? We've got a whole bunch of cool words that we can try and work into a song, and we've got a couple of concepts here, so we can start working out what the song is going to be about, how we're going to pitch it, and what the what the the um the structure is going to be like. Uh, I think we've got most of them. Leg cramp. Yeah. <laughs> tears in the water. Tears. Tears. Yeah. Why did the tomatoes tomatoes made it? Cats. Are cats in the water? 
the cat's in the water and the silver spear. Uh, tears in the water. Yeah, so you can be water, like comparing the water to your tears. Yeah, compare water to tears. I'm just going to write, uh, never miss your water till you dry. Uh, deep. I know that's deep, isn't it? Deep. Uh, I love it. All right. Um, did I miss anything really cool? Uh, swimming. Just keep swimming. Someone said, I saw that in the chat here. So just keep swimming. Um, not fishing. That's, uh, Weezer already wrote that. Weezer already wrote keep fishing. All right, just scrolling down. Uh, hello, Amelia. Maybe swimming in the sea in the second verse. Yeah, yeah. So... <sighs> All right, so l let's just work through how much uh, how much room we've got here to do stuff. So what we need now is to move on to actually crafting. Uh, so what, what I might do, let's just grab a new page here. We're just going to add a fresh page. So I normally use just one page, but just so that we can punk song uh, number two. So we've got our sort of music and musical stuff here, and we'll grab all of these, all these bits, and we'll just copy them over to here, so we've got one blank canvas to put everything on. We'll just uh, embiggen that a little bit. So we've got all of our ideas there, and uh, we'll grab the ones from the community that I've stolen, I've shamelessly stolen from you folks, and we'll pop those over here next to it. So we've got a couple of columns of cool things and ideas and concepts, and then we can just uh, work out the actual, the, the actual uh, structure that we have here. So verse, so we need, so the way it's going to work is uh, there's basically they're not really it's not a standard sort of verse because we're going to have them in chunks of um in chunks of three. Let's just go back to the song and make sure that that is indeed what we've got here. So if we go back to the iPad and we go to our original do do doos and da da das. So this is our first verse that we're going to write. It's going to go. So it is kind of the fourth line, but it's all there within the three. Then the chorus. Because I don't know what's in the water. In the water, and I don't blah 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 blah. So let's let's start by trying to get the second line of this chorus because I I think once we get that, it'll help build out the rest of it. It'll give us some more ideas for the for the top and the bottom. So uh, back over here on the screen, this is what we've got now. So because I don't know what's in the water, so come to our concepts. So I'm scared of what's in the water. So the first verse is going to be all about being scared, and then it's going to be because I don't know what's in the water. And I don't have all of the facts. Is it just something as simple as that? Um, or do we use something different here? Let's see. What are some of the ideas we had? So the depths are falling in. And I'm afraid I might fall in. Because uh, I don't know what's in the water. I know and, I, and I'm not. And I'm too. And I, might, I might drown if I fall in. And I might drown if I fall in. If anyone's got a whole line that you want to throw out here for, for that one, then feel free to do it. We are going to look at that. We're, we're going to have to try some AI here just to see if it writes a better line. Because um, I don't know what's in the water um, and I don't want to drown. And, and I might drown. I might drown if I if I take the plunge. If I... What were some of the things you got? If I fall in. Uh, if I... F uh, yeah. If I'm falling in the water. If... And I'm a drown if I fall. Yeah, if I if I dive, if I dive, if I fall, if I splash. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna go with that for now as a placeholder. Uh, but yeah, it's so much. There's so much out there I can't see. There's so, that, I don't mind that one. Um, we'll put Rena's idea here as well. Cause I don't know what's in the water. There's so much out there to, there's so much out there I can't, there's so much out there I can't see. It's a few, it's a bit wordy, I don't know. And I don't know how to swim. Oh, that's not bad at all. Uh, Darren Bryan coming in from left field with a corker. All right, let's put Darren's idea in here. 
And I don't know how to swim. Or maybe I don't know if I'll float, if I, if I can swim. <laughs> I don't know. So much that I can't see. There's so much that I, so much that I can't see. All right, so we've got some ideas there for the second line. And we can, we can record some of these in as ideas as we get there. <coughs> uh, <coughs> we, we'll then come into a second verse. So, because that's the, the that's the short chorus. So we'll need another chorus that has another two lines, because that's just the the first one. So this is verse two, and this is going to be the same line structure here. Where we're going to go four, five, six. Uh, sure, for a bit of fun, just to to mix things up a little bit, should we grab um should we grab Chat GPT? I never know how to log into this thing. We'll grab chat GPT and play around with this. I know some people love this, some people hate it, and most of us are just somewhere in between. But I just want to see, because I've never tried this sort of stuff before using AI. And, uh, and by the way, it's not, it's not artificial intelligence. It's machine learning is what I'd rather call it, because it's really not AI. All right. Um, I'm in the no swim club as well. Yeah, I don't like to swim. Um, what about, and I'm down if I've, I'm going down if I fall. I'm going down if I fall. I'm going down if I fall could be good. I'm going to put that in here for a, an idea, Dom. And I'm going down if I fall. If I fall in. If I fall. I reckon if I fall. All right. Um, hi, chat GPT. So let's let's ask it. Let's see if what we're going to go. Uh, so much I can't see is such a great pun. Oh, yeah. That's a good pun, isn't it, Bob? I'm going to put that in. Uh, oh, but yeah, so that's Rena. There's so much I can't see. I didn't see. Yeah, so we've already got that one there. All right, let's come in here and we'll grab this line. Uh, so we'll ask it to write the next line of a punk song where the first line of the chorus is, and we'll put that in there, it should not rhyme and should use about the same number of syllables. <laughs> Let's give it a go. What do you reckon? Uh, it's got me feeling like a rebel. <laughs> I just, see, I say punk song and it has to put rebel in there. Let, let, let's try it with, with, uh, with ChatGPT's suggestion. Because I don't know what's in the water. It's got me feeling like a rebel. See, because I said the same amount of sil syllables. I should go with... Uh, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make it eight syllables. Um, try again, but make it eight syllables this time. All right. <clears throat> living fast, breaking rules like a pro. Living fast, breaking rules like a pro. That's that's still nine syllables. Okay. Um, now make it about falling in the water and only seven syllables. <laughs> we'll give it. Drowning fast, no escape from the... That's the, that's the best so far. Drowning fast, no escape from the flow. <laughs> drowning fast, no escape. I don't mind the drowning fast. That's weird. Um, okay, try one more time using the same parameters. All right, what do you reckon? <laughs> it's struggling now. It's like, come on, dude. Sinking deep, nowhere left to go. Let's see, it's it's in the ballpark, but is it writing is it writing cool things like uh, and I might drown if I fall. There's so much out there I can't see, and I don't know how to swim, and I'm going down if I fall. No, so uh, it's strike one to the humans, I think, uh, because the the AI did it. It had some interesting ideas in there, and we'll we'll, we'll use it. We'll, we'll use it again because the other thing that you could do here here's another thing so you know we did the speed thinking we did my version we did your version we could actually come in here and just say um please give me uh 20 words that are related to um falling in the water and not being able to swim so you can get different kind of ideas drowning sinking submersion submergence immersion inhalation suffocation panic struggle helplessness fear desperation exhaustion danger so this is more where i think this is going to help because what we'll do is we'll just copy these and we'll put these in as another set because we've got uh, my words we've got your community words and then 
Let's go to the robots. What does the robot give us? The robot gives us all these words. So it just gives you an extra bank of things because I can't, some of the things that we didn't go with is like panic and struggle and helplessness, fear, desperation, exhaustion, danger, survival. Lifeguard, <laughs> David Hasselhoff. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be a way to sneak a Hasselhoff reference in there. Maybe not, but I'm going to put it in here because I like it. Hasselhoff, David Hasselhoff. All right, there we go. I'd love to learn but not get slaughtered. There you go. Uh, chat GPT instead of RhymeZone and uh, thesaurus.com. Yeah, it's, it's, it kind of just does that. But I know I can't stay on sh can't stay ashore. That, that's a that's solid. All right, that's uh, we'll put that in here as well. Uh, this one's coming from Tommy, Tommy Jack. It's but I know I can't stay ashore. But I know I can't stay ashore. All right, should we uh, work on this first verse? So let's uh, let's start at the very beginning. The first verse is going to say, um, it, it, "This is our precursor to because I don't know what's in the water. So why am I why am I scared of the water? Why? Well, it's, it's because there's crabs and tomatoes in there. <laughs> um, so I'm, I like the I like the start of all my life that we had in the first one, but it's um, not learning how to surf. I hate it when you, you get one of these things and it wants to in. Uh, Fine, you can you can indent it. That's fine. All my life, I've worried. I've worried about what I, I fear. What I can't see. All my life, I fear what I can't see. Every, all my life, I've worried about. Worried, worried, worried. All my life, I've worried about about the things. About the things, or can we go about the yeah about the things and then oh, surface someone said surface before all my life i've worried about the things underneath the surface underneath underneath that i can't see underneath the boat all, the, all my life i've worried about the things underneath the surface i can't see underneath the surface underneath the surface i can't see Mm, there you go. There's there's a concept. All my life I've worried about the things underneath the surface. Ah, uh, see, I'm, I can't see. No, because it doesn't fit the rhyme. Let's um, let's just listen to the da da da's, and uh. Da 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 da. All my life I've been worried about the things underneath that I cannot see. Something like that. Underneath about the things. So we always want the first line, the da. In the water I cannot see. The things in the water, is it as simple as that? Things in the water I cannot see. See, I cannot see. Um, means I might not be able to use Rena's cool one there because I've already said that I cannot see. Let's just, let's just work through this concept too. We can always change it. Uh, things in the water I cannot see. Um... Let's uh, if we want like <laughs> crashing, falling, cruising. All this doubt. So we want something to doubt. All my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see. All this doubt is getting something on my nerves. <laughs> uh, oh, it's, it's, it's almost becoming about surfing again now, isn't it? All my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see, even though I know it's... Uh, now, let's, let's go with some emotional stuff. Uh, what did you guys have for the emotion? Reflection, weightlessness, flow. Sea spiders, <laughs> memories of someone getting bitten. Um, tears in the water, things that sting. Having a stealth pee. <laughs> drowning. Oh, it's going to be like a drowning, sinking sort of thing. Oh, what about all my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see. Got this sinking feeling. Sinking, got this feeling, sinking feel. Got this sinking feeling coming over me. Got this sinking feeling coming over me. It's something like that. King feeling, coming, got this sinking feeling. Not coming over me, but something like that. I reckon something along those lines. Uh, if you stay afloat, you just might groan. No, jellyfish, jellyfish and sharks and stuff. Yeah, that's right. All my life I worry about the things in the water I cannot see. Got this sinking feeling coming up. No, I've got this sinking feeling in my knees. 
Got the sinking feeling of unease. <laughs> we'll go with that for now. Got the sinking feeling of unease. Could be almost like a comical one. Punching sharks in the nose is fun. Yeah. Uh, I think we now we need to go a little bit funny. Got this panic washing off. Oh, got this panic washing over me. This panic washing over me. Um, um, it's just, um, I have a fear of, of, of circling sharks. Cause circling, cause we need things to still be able to have like circling sharks. I don't know. Like, see, cause it's just, I have a fear of fish and stingrays. And what might sting when, I, when my back is turned? Like I have a feeling of circling sharks. What might sting? I reckon I have a fear of what might sting. And the circling sharks are making a ring. <laughs> uh, so worried about the thing that I cannot see. I have a fear of what might sting and what might... And, and the... And the... And surprise, yeah, surprise. Uh, like, what might be floating? Oh, hang on. So, what if we said, "With all my life, I'm worried about the things in the water. I cannot see. Got this panic washing over me. I have a fear of what might sting, and 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 taking a stealth pee might get me stung on the bits. <laughs> a little red crab pinching my toes. Little red crab pinching my toes. I, I like it, but I'm kind of like, uh, uh. Yeah, it, it is. It's the brain dump. It is. What the circling sharks and I have. A, oh yeah, the circling sharks might bring. Uh, I have a feeling of what might sing and what those circling sharks might bring. It's a little, but I like it. It's a little bit thing. Um. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So I got this panic washing over me. Uh, so now I want um. Something floating, floating. So, like, I'm going to stay on the shore. We didn't have shore or anything before, but drowning or unpredictable, unpredictable. Um, fish. All right. All my life, I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see. Got this panic washing over me. Kind of like that. I think that's cool. I have a fear of what might sting in those circ and what those circling sharks will bring. What those circling sharks might bring. I like the might and the might, or I can put will. The circling sharks will bring. Maybe I'll be safer on the shore. Yeah. Maybe I will be safer on the shore. Because I don't know what's in the water. All right. First take. Now, here's what I tend to do with songwriting. This is why, yes, you can write songs away from your device and away from music, but I like to get it. I like to get it down to see if it's going to flow because sometimes you just talk about it and you're like, yeah, that sounds about right, but it's not until you actually record something that you can find out if it's going to flow properly. And sorry, I know when I do something like this, there's so many folks that are giving so many good ideas, I'm going to miss some. So I apologize. What you can do is, after this isn't going to be the final version. So afterwards, if you had an amazing corker of an idea, throw it in the comments uh, of the uh, of the, of the uh, video here on YouTube or wherever you are. Or, or just email me and go, John's line four of verse two must be this. You simply must change it. And I'll uh, probably do it. All right, let's, uh, let's bring up this one. What we'll do is we'll duplicate out these vocals so that we can replace the do-do-do's and the da-da-da's. We'll mute those out. And uh, we'll, we'll sing this in. Check one, two. So we'll just set up this uh, vocal to make sure that it's going to be working. We'll turn the modest ring on. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Check, check, check. All right, it's got a little bit too much uh, drive on there for now. We'll just turn that down a bit. Drop the compression a wee bit. Ah, la, 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 la. And we're clipping big time because we've got this turned way up. So, la, 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 it's like rock, lo rock lobster for. Do you know rock lobster was released? I can't say that. Rock lobster it was released in 1979, the same year I was born. B 52's been around since the 70s. Who knew, right? Okay. We are good. So I've got the lyrics up here. I know you can't see them, but I'll, uh, I'll sing them in. They're over here on my other screen. I'll sing them in, and uh, we'll see how these float. <laughs> see what I did there? Because what it floats. 
<laughs> I'm going to turn off this mic. I'm going to come over onto this mic and uh, we're going to uh, go back to the start of this track. And uh, let's give this a crack, shall we? All my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see. Got this panic washing over me. I have a fear of what might sting and what those circling sharks will bring. Maybe I will be safer on the shore. Cause I don't know what's in the water. And I don't know if I'll swim. You know what? I kind of came up, as I was singing that one, I kind of came up with a version that's similar. And I don't know if I'll sink or swim. Maybe this song could be called Sink or Swim. Because maybe that's what the second line... And I don't know if I'll... It's a little bit wordy, but... And I don't know if I'll sink or swim. I don't know. Sink or swim. Because uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any... No song that I know of called Sink or Swim. But it's kind of the whole concept of this, isn't it? It's the whole fight or flight, sink or swim kind of mentality. That's what we're going to go with. Uh, sink, sink or swim. Yeah, common words are good. Exactly. The riff takes me back tonight. It's, it's a little bit... Because I was talking about it being punk, and it's not, it's not really the pop punk I was going for. It's definitely not like the hardcore edgy punk. But it's almost like that, you know, that when, when rock, rock, punk rock was sort of almost like homogenized, it was a bit, bit 70s, a little bit rock and roll. Um, I don't know. What 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 do you think? I I, I would rate so far. So th that's what we'll go. I'll just we'll just redden this. We've got all these other concepts that we can go with. Because remember, we need some other lines for when we do the two uh, two line chorus, which we might actually move to now. Before we do the second verse, maybe we'll workshop this and then we'll come back to that second verse because we've got the second verse there. This is going to be the chorus long that we need. So we'll, we'll jump down to the long chorus section of the song. So that, that, that's what we're going with for now. There was another line in there that I kind of changed up a bit, didn't I? Oh, and my, uh, my vocals are still too loud. I'm just going to turn that down for next time around. Let's just uh, play this through with just those vocals. All my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see. Got this panic yeah, clash, washing over me. Yep. I have a fear of what might sting and what those circling sharks will bring. Maybe I will be safer on the shore. Maybe I'll be safer. Yes, yeah, so I've got maybe I'll be safer on the shore. Maybe I'll be safer. No, no will there. Maybe I'll. I'm just changing this. Maybe I'll be safer on the shore. Can we just redo that line? <laughs> you know what? We should, oh, yeah, I'll just do that. Redo that line. Uh, sharks will bring. Maybe I'll be safer on the shore. You know what you should probably do? Not be soloed when you're trying to re-record a, a line over a vocal. <laughs> Let's try that. Maybe I'll be safer on the shore. I remember non-destructive editing is cool because when you're writing lyrics like this, and yeah, look, it's going to be way quieter than that, but you can come in here and then we can just uh, we can edit these. So we can just move these around. And uh, move your edit points so that you'll get all the other lyrics as well as that one. So let's just see what the card is. And that one's going to be way too quiet now because I turned down the mic. <laughs> this will be a bit of a mess. We'll just gain it up for now. Uh, like that. And then it'll cross over. Maybe I'll be safer on the shore. Because I don't know. In the water, and I don't know if I'll swim. Um, now, what did I come up with? And uh, I don't know if I'll sink. I don't know if I'll sink or swim. All right, let's just re record that little bit there, too, as well. Uh, I don't know what's in the water. Slightly different than what we had originally, but uh, 
I think it's uh, I think it's in the ballpark. Uh, and I don't know if I'll stick or swim. All right. So we've got ourselves a bit of an idea down there for the first uh, first chorus and first verse. We're, we're making progress here, folks. Uh, by the way, this will be a longer show. We normally do an hour-long show. These ones usually go an hour and a half-ish uh, when we're doing more of the actual creative process. All right. So the, the chorus, the second chorus that we do here, as well as the final chorus, we need to repeat that because I think um, Sink or Swim uh, is, is going to be the name of the song. That's what the working title is going to be. So let's go to the section where we've got the longer chorus because we've got our next verse, which we'll write in a moment because that's going to be a little bit more challenging. But I'd, I wouldn't mind working out where it's going to land. So if we know where we're going to finish, then we can work out where we're starting. Does that make any sense at all? No. All right, so that's the end of our first. All right, that's into the chorus section there. So after the first uh, chorus, we go into... So this is where we're going to do two times six. So we now need to write another line there. El Higgy Drums has got a good idea here, which uh, it could work better for that chorus. Um, so, uh, and don't know if I'll sink or swim. I think that's better. And don't know if I'll, because cause I don't know. And don't know if I'll think or swim. Yeah, I reckon I'm, I'm going to go with that. And don't know if I'll think or swim. Uh, the good thing is that uh, we've got... Um, we've got... Uh, yeah, we've got the ability to change things. <laughs> and because I'm recording this, I can go back and go, what did I say again? Who said that? What what happened? Because um, I know what's in the water, and I don't... Because I don't know what's in the water, and don't know if I'll sing, and don't know... Hang on, I had it before, didn't I? And don't know if I'll sing or swim, and don't know if I'll sing or swim. Um, there's so much... So I'm just sort of... There's so much. So this is where it's like, that's like the mysterious. There's so much that I can't see. Oh, that, so much under the surface. There's so much under the surface. There is more under the surface. More. There is more under the surface. There is under the surface. But it might be time, but it's time to dive in. But it's time to dive in. Because I want it to, that's kind of the message I want there. There is more under the sur There might be more under, yeah, there might be. Because it's like, don't worry, there might be more. There might be more under the surface, but it's time to dive in. Yeah, then it goes into the uh, solo. What do you reckon? Yeah? Something like that? Will I sink or swim? Will I sink or swim? Because I don't know what's in the water. Will I sink or... Will I... Will I sink or... Yeah. Second time. And I don't know if I can win. Yeah. Um, that could be another one. Because so, I don't know what's in the water. And I don't know... Have I been on this screen the whole time? And I don't know what's in the water. And I don't know if I'll sink or swim. There might be more under the surface. But it's time to dive in. I don't know if I can win. Yeah. And I don't know if I can win. Just to change it up. And then maybe like the final chorus. Final chorus. How about this? How about this? Nobody knows what's in the water. Maybe, um... Yeah, we, we do the whole thing where the chorus changes um, each time. I'll just, I'll just put that in there as a placeholder for now, for the final chorus, because I think that could work. All right. Orkali. Uh, I know I'm singing in the shower. I do sing in the shower, too. Uh, we are trying to. We are writing lyrics for a song. Because I don't know if I'll even like the water. There you go. That's a cool thing. Because I don't know if I'll even like it. 
Nobody knows where the dolphins sing. Isn't that a um, live song? Where the dolphins sing. All right. Uh, let's try this longer chorus. Let's go back to our recording and uh, try this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to re-record that first one because um, those vocals, like the, the gain's up too loud on that and it's going to annoy me that it's all sort of in one chunk there. Um, it's all different. So we'll just delete out these. You can tap and drag over a bunch, by the way, and then delete from there. And uh, we will now solo the da-da-da-das. And let's re-sing in this first verse and first chorus. And then we're going to try uh, to uh, go down and do the, the the second chorus as well. And then we'll come back and write the second verse. We're all over the shop here today. I told you it would not be a, a, sim a stable kind of thing. Check, one, two. Need to make sure we've got the monitoring on. Hello, 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 hello. And uh, let's go back to using our dummy track. Is this on the right one? Yeah, there you go. So we can record up here because it'll record and it'll dummy track it down here. So let's do this thing. Let's listen from the very start to get the feel for this rock song. Check, check, check. All the life I want, I forgot, I forgot, I've got the right spot. Alright, we won't make you listen to that all again. I'll just go up to here. <laughs> All my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see. Got this panic washing over me. I have a fear of what might be and what those circular sharks will bring. Maybe I'll be safer on the shore. Cause I don't know what's in the water. And I don't think I'll see the swim. That wasn't, that wasn't the right words. Um, and don't know if I'll sink or swim is what we're going to do there. Let's just uh, try that again, shall we? And don't know if I'll sink. Don't know if I'll sink or swim. Don't know if I'll sink or swim. Oh, I'm talking the wrong mic. I really like the uh, the DRI tone that uh, we put on that. We put that Jade suggested we put on this uh, guitar. I think it sounds really cool. This one here. Uh, no, not that one. The one that's doing the lead lead guitar. This one here. So it's got really nice sustain on it. There you go. Very cool. Um, yeah, so good suggestion there from Jade on the last one. All right, so I think we're in the ballpark there. Let's come down to this second verse. And remember, uh, sorry, second chorus. So remember how, la well, if you didn't see, in the last episode, we used this drummer track at the top here, and now we know exactly where everything is. So if you're wondering how I know where the verse is, where the chorus is, even though GarageBand doesn't give us the right section naming tools, we can actually come in here. So I'm going to come up to this section here. We're going to write our second verse in a minute, but let's sing in this longer chorus that we wrote. So this is the one where, was it, um, I don't know, what's in the water, and I don't know if I can win. There might be more under the surface, but it's time to dive in. We'll try this one here. All right. Uh, wait, got to be on the right track, that track. And let's use our dummy track and record. I don't know what's in the water, and I don't know if I can win. There might be more. My timing was my timing was way off on that. Hang on. My timing was uh, super poor on that one because I wasn't listening to the uh, track. I was too busy looking at the lyrics. I don't know what's in the water. I don't know if I can win There might be more under the surface But it's time to dive in Oh yeah, 
And then we go to a uh, guitar solo, Oof. which I will never play on my own show. <laughs> By the way, if you're having some fun, thanks. Uh, there's some other folks that have joined us here. We're having a good time here today. If you're having some fun too, hit the thumbs up button because why not? Why not, hey? And I don't, if I can swim, yeah, I like it. Um, question, question from Hello Black Diamond. How do I get the GarageBand project so I can add the synth pads? Uh, oh, how do you get this GarageBand project? Um, yeah, look, uh, I might open it up. And uh, Usually when I finish a project like this, I, I send it around. Um, we're probably not doing full sort of collaboration mode here. So this is going to be a, it's going to end up being a pretty simple punk song, I think, at the end of the day. Um, but uh, thank you, thank you for the offer. Always, uh, always happy to, uh, always happy to provide. Th a lot of people have done remixes of songs before, so that's what I usually do at the end. I'll just zip up the project and throw it out there on uh, on Dropbox or something. And if folks are keen, they can remix, uh, remix to their heart's content. Alrighty, let's. Uh, we need to write a second verse. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been putting it off long enough. But again, you can see, hopefully this this if this is encouraging for you. Hopefully this is encouraging that we went from a blank page at the start of this show an hour ago. We had nothing, and now we have a first verse. We have a chorus, a short and a long chorus with some chorus variations to lean back on if we want to change things up a little bit. And we have all of these concepts that we put together throughout the show, which is really cool. Uh, so let's write this second verse, shall we? This is going to be verse two, and it's the same format. So what we're saying here is, um, so if it's don't know what's in the water, I don't know if I'll sink or swim. Um, this has got to be like the, it's going to be a quick song. And this is going to be like the realization that um, you don't have to worry so much. Don't worry about what you can't see. So basically, yeah, not worrying about what you can't see. Um, oh, so this could be where you're um, watching the news and you see what happens on the news and therefore you're stressing out about the, uh, I was watching the news today. Yeah, let's just, let's just start sort of working through the, um, this can be like a story. I was watching the news today. Which is always a bad idea, by the way. Today. And so, I was watching the news today. Sing the word about the thing. I was watching the news today and... Someone, someone was drowning out in the bay. <laughs> uh, what do you reckon? Someone, I was watching news today and the man said that people would throw to away. Oh, and, and the man, because it could be like the man, the man said, because, you know. And the man said some people just float away. Oh, come on. Yeah. Watch the news today, and the man said some people just float away. Because <gasps> it's like metaphors, bruh. Like, come on, bruh. <laughs> I was watching the news today, and the man said some people, man said somebody just, people just float away. Some people just float away. Um, da -da 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 -da. Something about the tide coming in. Yeah, tide coming in could be could be good. Shark attack at the bay. Yeah, some people just float away. Others, others end up as yeah. So we could say, I was watching the news today. The man said some people just float away, and others never surface above the. Uh, yeah, and some people never. You know, we get surfacing, and um, some people. Uh, yeah, and then so down here we want to get into the whole reflection side of things, and um, yeah, maybe the tide. Tides coming in, like reflection, tide. The tides will always... So basically, the tides will always... The tide will always come in. Watching the news today, and the man said the people just float away. Others never come back from... Blah, 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 under, uh, and, and others... And others never come back from down below. Come, never come back from down below. Because that again could be sort of meta metaphorically. Oh, and then down below could be rhyme with undertow. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, I was watching the news today, and the man said the people just float away, and others never come back from down below. Upon reflection, upon reflection, get it? Upon reflection. Uh, so this is where you like your scene. On reflection, my memory, my memory. 
Um, so this is where you're like you're remembering my memory, my memory. The tide will always be. yeah. I'm repunk. I'm reflection, not upon. Upon sounds a bit wanky. So I'm reflection, my memory of what memory says says the tide will always be. Talking heads on the news today. Talking heads. I was watching Talking Heads on the News today. Talking heads on the news today. Yeah, because that's more talking heads on the news today and the man. And sets of people just float away And others never come back from down below I'm reflecting my memory Says that I'm reflecting my memory I can see the tides Tides will always come for me Tides will always come for me? Yeah Come for me Tides, I'm reflecting my memory Says the tides will Says don't stress the tides. Tides will come for me. Yeah, I like it, but I can't quite work it in there. Some people drifted away. Talking heads of the news today, and the man said some people drifted away. Some people just float away. Drifted. Away. Some people just drift away. Maybe drift. Maybe drift instead of float. Sorry, but I'm reflecting my memory. I like that line, but I don't know where we go. What we're, what I'm trying to say there. Memories are always making a fool of me. Because the tide will always come back to shore. Because the tide will always come back to shore. Have I used shore? I don't think... Oh, yeah, maybe I'll be safer on the shore. So maybe I'll be safer on the... Come back to shore. Oh, because the tide will always come back. The tide will always come in. Because the tide will always be coming in. Come back in. Come back in. Come back in. That's not really right, is it? It's in the ballpark again. So this it's kind of what I wanted to say. Let's just make sure that the song makes sense with um, Riptide. Riptide Below has come for me. Hey, I got my preserve <laughs> Telling me what I think. And, telling me what to think and say. Hang on. I'm a flex for a minute. Telling me what to think and say. You reckon in here, Jade? I'm, ref I'm reflecting my memories are telling me what to think and say. That's 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 an option, isn't it? Oh, what to think and say. The tide will always flood my mind. The tide will always flood my mind. Hmm. Because the tide will always flood my flood my mind. I like the flood my mind. Or flood my mind. After the first line of talking heads. Ah, okay. After the first line of talking heads. Talking heads on the news today. Telling me what to think and say. Oh. I like it. Telling me what to think and say that's a, a variation there so we just need to finish it off here so talking heads on news today telling me what to think and say and others never come back from down below um or maybe i've switched that around and say some people just tend to float away the man said some people float away no, i don't know talking heads on news today and telling me what to think and say um all right my memories are always making a fool of me because the tide will come. So the last line here just has to be leading in. So basically saying it is what it is. <laughs> we need a metaphorical way of saying it is what it is. So we'll keep floating. We'll keep. But I like the whole tide coming in. The tide will also make it a fool of me. But the tide will always come back. Be coming in. Be coming in. Be coming in. But the tide will always flood my mind. Oh, I still like the flood my mind. I really like it. But I won't let the tide flood my... But I won't let the tide flood my mind. But it's time to stop them from flooding my mind. But it's... Ah, oh, it's, well, I want that. I want that line, but I don't know how to work it in. But it's time to stop... Time to make it stop flooding me. Flooding my mind. 
Time to flex my memories. A flood in my mind. Flooding my mind? Maybe it's my flex memories. Yeah. Maybe it's in there. Maybe. I'm flexing my memories. I'm flooding. I always flooding my mind. Just, oh, okay. Can't get it to work. All right. Let's just get a final line there and then we can tweak it. I just wanted to we'll get everything down and then uh, you folks can um, can jump in and yell at me in the comments after the show and tell me what I did wrong and that your idea was way better than mine because it probably was. But it's time to boot. No, it's not time to. Um, well, that was my th tummy saying, you should have some lunch soon, Johns. It was only 10.30. <laughs> Making a fool out of me. Now it's time to do a uh, stealth pee. <laughs> uh, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Yeah, floating reflection. Um, reflections, my memories. Uh, you don't you hate it when you're stuck on one line and you just, the tide will always ebb and flow. That's not bad. That's not bad. I won't let the rip tide sway my mind. Yeah, it's like, it's something like that, isn't it? I won't let the tide. It's just got to be a perfect, like, last line. Reflects my memories are always making a fool of it. Um, but I'm learning to, but I'm learning to move more with the tide. Something like that. But I'm learning to ebb and flow with the tide. Ebb and flow with the tide. Oh, it's, it's a bit weird, but you know what? Red Hot Chili Peppers had a number one song with a um, chorus that went ding, dang, dong, dong, ding, dang, dong, dong, ding, dang. So uh, let's not spend too much time. All right. <laughs> we've sort of got there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is this this first version we've got uh, I'll, I'll redenize the ones that I'm going with because I don't know so there are our, our alternatives there talking heads on the news today telling me what to think and say yeah I reckon I'm going to go with with Jade's idea there because I like telling me what to think and say it's kind of it isn't it don't have to be quite as specific if we go with that and some people don't come back from down below. Some people don't come back from down below. Some people never surface from down below. Hmm. Tell me what to think and say. Some people don't come back. People won't come back from... Some people. People won't come back from down below. I'm reflecting my memories. are always making a fool of me, but I'm learning to ebb and flow with the tide. <sighs> Um, I'm reflection will always make a fool of me. Feel like tide always ebb and flow. <laughs> the ebb and flow is cool because it's. I, I'm just. Oh, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try this with uh, with the bits. Oh, right. So that's that and that and that. So we, should we try and do? Uh, should we try and do a whole vocal all the way through with all of these? I might just have to unembiggen it so I can get the whole thing. So there's our verse one. There's our short chorus, there's our verse two, and there's our long chorus, and then we haven't written the final chorus, have we? Uh, so, so I basically just want to do this the same thing here. Nobody knows what's in the water. Nobody knows if we'll sink or swim. No, uh, nobody knows who's going to win. Uh, and nobody knows who's going to win. I like the whole, like, nobody knows. I can't type now. Nobody knows who's going to win. But I'm... But I'm going to... But I'm going to learn. But, so I'm going to just keep on floating. So I'm going to just keep on floating. Because I can't control whether I sink or swim. Because <laughs> um, I'll oh, dive dive. So nobody knows what's in the water and nobody knows who's going to win. So I'm just going to just keep on floating. Um, uh, it's got to have sink or swim again, doesn't it? Even though I might sink or swim. Even though I might sink or swim. 
All right, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. <laughs> uh, thank you, Bleedy Red Beats. Thank you, folks, for hanging out. Yeah, we've we've gone a little long here, uh, but we are going to finish up soon. But we, I was determined to get at least uh, at least everything in a in a draft form. These aren't going to be the final versions because once you start recording, you will start tweaking things. But this gives us a place to start, and you always need. You can't finish until you start, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's come back over to here. Let's record this whole thing in. Um, I'm going to leave that one there as a draft version, uh, just in case I forget how to do some of these parts. But we'll come down here to record this one. We'll turn the monitoring on. We'll use our second dummy track here, which we've showed you heaps of times before. Uh, let's just give this a go. Let's see if we could be a one-take wonder and get all these ideas down into this one. Check one, two. All right, I'm going to turn off this mic. I'm going to come over here. And uh, let's uh, see, Sink or Swim, first vocal take written by Pete Johns and the Studio Live Today community. All my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see. Got this panic washing over me I have a fear of what my thing And what those circles and charts will bring Maybe I'll be safer on the shore Cause I don't know what's in the water And I don't know if I'll sink or swim Talking heads on the news today And telling me what to think and say Some people won't come back down below On reflection my memories Are always making a fool of me But I'm learning to ebb and flow with the tide Cause I don't know what's in the water And I don't know There might be more under the surface But it's time to dive in Yeah! Obligatory punk rock guitar solo All right, I thought the final chorus was a double chorus, but it wasn't. Should it be, though? Because I think of them. Because nobody knows what's in the water. And nobody knows who's going to win. So I'm just keep on floating, even though I might sink or swim. All right, I'll, just so that we can see what it sounds like with the other, with the other final chorus we wrote, I'm just going to re-sing it, but... Let me know if you think that final chorus needs to be a double long chorus um, uh, or just finish like this. So uh, we'll just record this again with those alternate lyrics. <laughs> Just for something. It does need to be double. Uh, uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to undo that. 
Uh, this is where you, you, your copy and paste can come in, which we will do here. I know uh, it, it's not what we'll do in the final version, but because we're not using sections, it's going to be a little bit trickier because we're going to need to do some split skis. So we're just going to come in here and uh, split anything that's not split down here for this final chorus. Uh, don't need to worry about vocals because we're going to re-record those. Lead guitar, is that split right there on the right spot? No, it's not. So we need to split that one. And we don't worry about that. All right, so, and where do they go to the end? So here's our final chorus. Um, and then we need to split it here at the end because we're basically just going to double this up. So this is uh, hopefully some good, helpful stuff. If you're doing things like this, the good good thing about digital, and uh, where's my analog folks at, you'd remember that you just couldn't do this in the analog world. Even doing a demo, even on a full track recorder or something, it was really hard to do something like this. But what we're going to do is we're going to... We don't need those anymore. That's our do-do-do's. So we'll just push that. Rev it. Non-destructive, so it won't go away. Don't stress. Uh, so we'll just grab all of this. Not that. All of this in the middle there. And we're going to copy it. And now we need to create some space here. So we're just going to move this end over. So we need another whole double chorus bit. So we're going to move this over. I can't remember exactly how long it's going to go. And then tap on here and paste this stuff back in. Boom. There we go. All right. And bring this back. So now what it'll do, it'll sound a bit clunky because we've just copied and pasted it. And obviously this won't be our final thing, but we're going to uh, do this. <laughs> As Matty says, recording vocals is my least favorite part of the whole process. I know, it's a little bit weird. Littered skidded kind of vibe, you reckon? Uh, repeat the chorus with a clash sounding high. Ooh, so, ooh, yeah, I reckon. All right, so uh, let, let's try this. We'll go from the solo section here. We'll turn this back on, record, use our dubby track. Oh, input channel in use. How is that the case? Uh, am I on the wrong vocal? Hang on. I thought that was that, and that should be that. Isn't this the vocal track I just used to record, my lead vocals? And is that not my dummy track? So this one should be on channel one, which it is. The other one should be on channel two, because that was our dummy track the whole time, wasn't it? Wasn't it? How did I mess that up? Yeah, that's channel two. Why is this not working, man? All right, let's go back to my original one. Doesn't really matter if we can't if we can't use the dummy. There we go. That's working. Don't know what it was doing before. All right. Uh, so we'll go from the the solo here, and we'll just try and record this final thing here. All right. Uh, cool. Turn off this mic. Over on this mic, and uh, let's go. I don't know what's in the water I don't know if I can win There might be more under the surface But it's time to dive in I totally messed up I totally messed up, however, I edited this. <laughs> Someone was probably watching me at the time going, John, you're getting it wrong. But that's okay, because we're getting non-destructive. I don't know what's in the water. I don't know if I can win. There might be more under the surface. But it's time. All right, so it's just that lead guitar that's going to be out of whack. That's what was distracting me from there. So we'll just delete that out. So let's... Um this is probably going to take some more offline thinking because my brain's a bit frazzled after all of this. So I, there's, there's a bar in there that I need to add that it's not working for me because uh, there's got to be... Da, 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 da. There's, there's like an extra bar in there, isn't there? Let's just see if we can move all this over. A bar. Is it just that it's got to do that? Hang on. Yeah, there's, there's like two, isn't there? It's another bar as well. 
Did I finish it? Because I, I went into a weird, like, end bit. I think it needs to go to there, doesn't it? Let's just see. Dive in. Yeah, I think that's where I messed up there. I think it'll it'll sort of stop, but it'll come back again. Uh, let's just see if this makes sense now. I think I went one bar, two bars. In yeah. All right, so let's, we'll just delete that out just so that we get this down, Pat. Uh, so, yeah, stuff like that will happen. You just kind of have to fiddle about with it. And this is why using sections is a bit better. I didn't use sections in this one, but um, probably should have. All right, one more time with feeling. I don't know what's in the water. I don't know if I can win. There might be more on the surface, but it's time to dive in. Nobody knows. I'm gonna just keep on floating Even though I might sink or swim da -da 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 -da. All right, I cut off the end there, so uh, we didn't hear the end of that. So uh, we'll, we'll need to do this. You like the stop? Maybe the stop stays in there in the middle part. Um, but this one out the back here, We'll need to just go delete off these bits and keep in that little endy bit. Delete. Drag it out just so that we have that little endy bit there. All right, let's listen to this final part. Even though I might sink or swim. All right, that's not bad. That's coming together. We're going to get there. Um, so you're like, so you're, the stop that, yeah, maybe maybe this stop has like a, like a pick scrape or something between. Yeah. Nobody knows what's in the water. Nobody knows who's gonna win. No, I'm gonna just keep on floating. Nobody knows. Oh, yeah. Happy little accidents, as Bob Ross would say. That was a happy little accident because that was just me doing some weird editing. But, like, don't you reckon you could, it'll stop there and then you have, like, a pick scrape come back in? Like, it just, um, here, I'll do it. Nobody knows and then the lead guitar can kind of go ridiculous at the end there. Nobody knows. Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, Petrum, Plectrum, see, see, here, we're, we're a bit ochre, we go, it's a pick scrape. And then you've got classy folks, uh, like Bob in Scotland, a Plectrum slide. It's a much nicer word for it, isn't it? Because I, I was trying to work out a way to get a, a pick scrape or a Plectrum slide in uh, this particular track. That's going to be the way to do it, I reckon. Uh, where are we at? One minute, yeah, we're like an hour and a half. Uh, do we... Do, do, do we do we dabble with some backing vocals real quick? Do, do we have five or ten minutes to just play with some backing vocals just to just to see what's going to work with these? What do you reckon? Just to, for those that are watching, I know that there's, there's 40 of you that have been hanging on. Uh, have you got ten minutes left in you if we want to play with some backing vocals or should we call it? Should we, should we not push our luck? Vocals, yes. Vocals, no. Let me know. Let me know if we, what we do. Uh, otherwise, I will finish off and we'll, uh, we'll play around with the... Uh, I'll do the backing vocals offline because I have kept you here for a while now. Um, let's just go back to the screen and uh, pull it together. So, yeah, so there's our verse, the first chorus, second chorus, which uh, we're going with that one and that one and that one. And then the long bits there, and uh, we'll go there. <laughs> Dan Eggberg just got here, so vocals, yes. <laughs> uh, pick scrape and a big dollop sound like someone doing a cannibal. Yeah. Pick scrape in small clubs, plectrum sliding. <laughs> That's right. If you're playing a big stadium show. You know what? I, I, I tried to ask, but I'm just going to do it anyway. 
do it anyway. People are like, I oh, don't know, it's your, it's your show. John, do what you want. So let's, uh, let's duplicate out here. Let's just experiment around with just, just one take of some ideas for some backing vocals just to see uh, what, what's going to come of this. All right, so uh, let's turn this one on and this one off. Oh, oh, oh. So I don't think we'll have anything with this first one. All my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see. Got this panic washing over me I have a fear of what my thing And what those circular shots will bring Maybe I'll be safer on the shore Cause I don't know what's in the water And I don't know if I'll sink or swim Talking heads on the news today and telling me what to think and say. Some people won't come back from down below. I'm reflecting my memories are always making a fool of me. But I'm learning to ebb and flow with the tide. Cause I don't know what's in the water. And I don't know. There might be more under the surface But it's time to dive in yeah! Yeah! I don't know what's in the water And I don't know if I can win There might be more under the surface But it's time to dive in Nobody knows what's in the water And nobody knows I'm gonna just keep on floating Even though I might sink or swim do, 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 do. Alright, I cut off the end there. So, so, some ideas in there, some concepts. Son, we haven't saved, and you know what the other thing we haven't done is? I didn't actually show you the right screen on that one. <laughs> It'll happen. It'll happen multiple times. So we've saved that one with all of our changes, which would have been a heartbreaker if we didn't save for that entire time. All right. Uh, so this one, we're just going to rename this one to, let's do a bit of cleaning up here. This one's going to be our backing vocals ideas. Vox back ideas, just so that we've got that saved in there. Uh, there is our lead vocals there. We're just going to mute out... Wait up! No, that's the wrong. That's the wrong track. That was just my dummy track. <laughs> you can tell that I've been going for too long here. It's the end of my week. It's my Friday night, folks. So uh, this is this is what you get <laughs> this time of the week. This one's going to be the backing. All right, we'll rename that one. All right, backing Vox. Cool. So we'll mute those for now. Let's just do a quick, a quick and dirty uh, faders down mix. We'll just come in here to the chorus so that at the end of this we can hear the the demo, the the almost final kind of demo of this track. Get everything down. Bring our bass in. Cars back in. That feels balanced. And our vocals. I don't know if I can win. 
techniques and compression. There might be more under the surface, but it's time to dive in. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right. So let's, uh, we'll take off the tops and tails here because I'm probably chatting to myself here. Get rid of that. We don't have to worry about that bit there. And do, 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 do. we'll get rid of the do, do, do here at the end, even though that's kind of a bit of fun. Uh, did this bit at the start here? Okay. If I could win, there might be more under the surface. But it's time. All right, so we probably need to do some more vocal processing on this one. A little bit more drive, and we'll just we'll just go nuts on the compression. We'll uh, we'll mix it properly, obviously, down the track. But just to get a bit of an idea, uh, let's uh, let's finish off and uh, let's take a listen to this, shall we? Uh, sink or swim, uh, demo version three <laughs> All my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see Got this panic washing over me I have a fear of what might sting and what those circling sharks will bring Maybe I'll be safer on the shore Cause I don't know what's in the water And I don't know I reckon um, a stop there, at least with the drums, because like, I like the idea of the stop at the second part, and I like sort of stopping. So let's just remind myself that I want to stop there. Let's just see. Swim. Talking heads on the news today and telling me what to think and say. Some people will come back from down below. Our reflection, my memories are always making a fool of me. But I'm learning to ebb and flow with the tide. Yeah, I like that. Ebb and flow with the tide works. I don't know what's in the water. And I don't know if I can win. There might be more under the surface. But it's time. I don't know what's in the water And I don't know if I can win There might be more under the surface But it's time to dive in Nobody knows what's yeah, in it. the water And nobody knows Gives it like a false finish, doesn't it? Yeah. So it can really bring it home as the final. Yes, Jay. Maybe. Yes, Jade, as usual, uh, has volunteered drumming services. Uh, a, I know you're really flat out, so I don't want to push you. And it's been a long time. I've had a lot of people asking me for an auto drummer tutorial. So we'll see how we go. We may be doing the auto drummer in here, but I, and I wouldn't want it to be a face off where it's like Jade versus the auto drummer because we know you'd win. We know you'd win. Um, let's just um, add in some uh, drum here so that it just finishes because uh, it's going to. If you just split this, what we can do is it'll normally give you the option to make this like a. If we edit this, we'll just make this like a real 
epic fill kind of thing um, like this. <laughs> Except that was kind of nuts. Uh, we'll bring it up on the crash and we'll just bring it. What if we make it two times? That could be weird. Swim. <laughs> it's just insane. All right, maybe not. We'll play around with that offline. All right. There you go. Demo. Songwriting. Lyrics. So let's just... um. Let's just recap on what we've done today. And yeah, look, I know that a lot of folks have had a bunch of other suggestions, talking about other instrumentation and things. Today was, I know I've talked a little bit about some of the other instruments, but it was very much about getting some lyrics written and uh, getting the vocals, uh, a scratch version of the vocals down. So what we did, just to recap, is we listened to the song, My Do Do Do's and My Da Da Da's. We did a speed thinking exercise where I came up with all these things, many of which are now over here in the song. You folks came up with all these things about uh, what's in the water and uh, the robot chat gpt came up with all these things about what may be in the water i wanted this to be some concepts scared of what's in the water maybe scared of your own reflection saw in the news so i've, I've used that as a thing we didn't get hasselhoff in there oh you know what we should do you know that bit where before the the um thing where i go yeah i should go hasselhoff <laughs> Just for no reason, just to <laughs> just to confuse the heck out of people that want to take things too seriously. Um, and then we, we built this out. So we've got our first verse there. We've got our first little short chorus. We've got a bunch of ideas in case they want to change things up in the future that folks put in there. Uh, we've got our second verse here, which I, I really like telling me what to think and say. I did like the man said people just float away, um, but I do think I like that one better. Um, some people won't come back from down below. Uh, on reflection, my memories are always making a fool of me, but I'm learning to ebb and flow with the tide. I think that works well now. And then uh, there's our final chorus with our um, second part of our final chorus that I think is working pretty well. Where is Hasselhoff when you need him, right? Yeah, yeah, yo, Hasselhoff. Yeah, da 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 da. Hasselhoff! <laughs> it's, when it's like dun dun dun, it should be like Hasselhoff! <laughs> I don't know, man. Alrighty. Uh, since my MacBook can't handle Logic anymore, I tried Reaper, which is working great. Uh, yeah, but I really miss the handiness of Logic. But that's the thing. Like, I loved Reaper, but it was too much for me. Like, it had too many options, and I found myself uh, getting stuck. Whereas GarageBand, it's like the limitations of the, the GarageBand options mean you just have to go with what you go with and be happy with it. So, there we go. Hasselhoff. We could call the song Hasselhoff. Just, again, for no apparent reason. Just called Hasselhoff. Except that I might get uh, sued. <gasps> might get sued, you never know. Um, all right. So that, that is going to do it for this one. Let's just make sure we do a final save. Remember, don't be like John's. Don't spend an hour and a half on a song and not have saved it the entire time. Do as I say, not as I do. But, but there you go. And in fact, we can, we can finally name this. We can name this Sink or Swim. Brackets Hasselhoff. <laughs> oh, it's going to be known. It's going to end up being Hasselhoff, isn't it? Just for fun. Uh, bad for um, search engine optimization, though. That's the only problem. All right. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out here for uh, nearly two hours in the end. Uh, again, these shows are not like what we normally do around here. We will return to normal programming in, in, you know, in a few weeks' time once this song is done. But I know there's you know, many folks that just want the just the facts, man. Just get, get to the point, give the tips and stuff. That's all still there. Don't forget, you can still jump on over to uh, studiolivetoday.com slash garageband to get all of that. So if you're missing all the little short tip videos, what I'd recommend is jump here to your GarageBand iOS Essentials because this one is a playlist of all of the essential stuff. So if you want to learn about mixing a song, you want to learn about the touch guitar, how to set up a new song using audio or virtual instruments, vocal recording setup using an audio interface, drums, so the five different ways you can add drums, how to use EQ, how to use loops. It's all there, your master volume and the little hack you can use for the master volume using microphones, how to fix your crashing. All of that is there. Uh, studiolifetoday.com slash garageband. You won't go wrong thanks everyone for being here today uh we have a special show normally this is the end of the week i did say it's my friday night well guess what i'm working the weekend because tomorrow we've got a live show it's going to be my seven year anniversary and we do this every year it's a bit of fun let's just find it uh where is it uh, studio live today seven years if you search studio live today seven years you will probably find it no that's my six year anniversary <laughs> uh pete johns add pete johns to it 
There we go. Uh, so if you go to there, I'll, uh, I'll put a link here in the chat, but uh, you'll be thrown over there after this one if you're here live. Let's just copy that one over here. But if you search Studio Live today, Pete Johns, seven years, you'll see that one. We'll just be hanging out for an hour or two. It's usually pretty casual, and uh, we'll just be going through uh, what's happened over the last seven years from, uh, from the infancy of the channel, and uh, you can ask any questions and uh, anything that you might want to find out there. So if you've, if you've had those burning questions, if you want to find out if I'm going to buy a new Mac, if you uh, want to find out about whatever what was the other question asked today did i help with that yeah if you can have all my projects then uh, you can do that and by the way if you join the patron i've actually already shared a bunch of my previous projects with patrons in the past jade star has my whole back catalog that she's been using i think thomas christ done some stuff with some projects as well so yeah most of my stuff's available if you are a patron and you can support me on patreon for as little as one dollar per month which i think is pretty darn cool yes the big anniversary there um so thank you for that all right as we say at the end of every show, folks, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, keep creating, and I'll see you next time here on GarageBand Weekly. Whoop, 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 whoop. See ya, folks. Bye for now.